Hello friends! In this video you'll see how the actors of the movie The Breakfast Club 1985 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Andrew Clark, Emilio Estevez, goes to the same school as John Bender and is also his classmate. He is seriously involved in sports, devoting enough time to training, but not to the learning process itself. He is quite hardy, knows fighting techniques well and has an excellent reaction. Andrew meets many of the stereotypes that have developed about athletes, but for the most part it's his own father's fault with increased demands on him. He knows how to hide his true emotions well, is far from stupid, but is not the embodiment of the image of Robin Hood. Clark has a fairly strong inner core, but often takes the path of less resistance and does the will of other people. Richard Vernon leads the staff of Shermer High School, where he holds the position of assistant principal. But in most cases he acts as if he is in charge and towers over everyone. He is not particularly compassionate to his students and doesn't show proper understanding to them. Instead, often chastising them and determining the degree of punishment in an attempt to achieve perfect discipline can perform impulsive acts that are somewhat beyond the scope of his duties, inciting students to some violence and shouting various kinds of insults at them, thereby demonstrating his immaturity. Played by Paul Gleason, who died of mesothelioma in 2006. Brian Johnson, Anthony Michael Hall, is one of the students at Shermer High School. He pays the main attention only to study, although he doesn't pursue his own desire in this, clearly fulfill the will of his parents. Able to show a respectful attitude, in general can treat people well regardless of their status in society and can also politely put the person in his place. Due to constant pressure from his parents, he acquired suicidal thoughts and only by chance he failed to accomplish his plan. Knows how to notice details, is distinguished by experiencing an increased emotionality in even the smallest things. He knows how to cook a little and makes a good spaghetti. Alison Reynolds, Ali Shidi, maintained a friendship with Claire, with whom she went to the same school and was also of romantic interest to Andrew Clark. She has a somewhat peculiar nature, not accustomed to being frank and not infrequently prefers to be a little wordy. Alison has a rather strained relationship with her family, which has affected her in many ways, but at the same time she has not acted as an initiator and tried to show attention to her parents. She is characterized by a certain immortality, combined with strange actions, uncharacteristic of other teenagers, for example to set fire to their own paintings, which before it chickened out dandruff. Carl is one of the employees of Shermer High School who takes care of the household part and, for the most part, keeps the school premises clean. He can be quite patient at times and is often bullied by his students but tries not to let them trample him into the dirt. Carl is a rather observant person, able to notice details, prone to empathy and understanding of many things, but also able to clearly stick to his position. He performs his duties well, although he doesn't have much love for this work and, on rare occasions, may resort to blackmail for the purpose of financial enrichment. Got along well with Brian, played by John Capellas. Andy's father, Ron Dean, has a far from friendly relationship with his own son. He is not characterized by patience and support of his loved ones in various situations. He considers himself to be right in many ways, shows exaggerated demands to his child, although he himself is not a role model, and in his school years he arranged many outrages. Victory for him is above all. Claire's father is a wealthy man who fully supports his family financially. He is not overly strict with his child and often forgives Claire a lot, not even taking her actions as something serious. 
The main thing for him is that his family corresponds to a certain status, but at the same time he doesn't have warm relations with them. The role is performed by Tim Gamble. Brian's sister, Mary Christian, is the youngest child in her family. She doesn't have a warm relationship with her brother, doesn't support him in any way and can even be irritable with him and assent to his parents when they reprimand Brian, tries not to be out of the norms that her parents set for her. John Bender is one of Brian's classmates. He is known at by his father's attitude, although he tries not to show it to his peers in any way. He often commits some offenses, but is not characterized by the manifestation of cruelty, especially physical, in relation to anyone. Often likes to make jokes and sharp remarks, both against classmates and some school employees. John succumbs to stereotypes imposed on him, but in fact he is not. He has a fairly persistent nature, has good mental abilities and understands some hidden motives of people. He smoked marijuana, to which he connected some of his classmates showed romantic interest in Claire, played by Judd Nelson. Brian's mom is extremely strict in her parenting, especially with regard to Brian. She is not one to behave with compassion and be attentive to her children's in a world. For her, it's all about good behavior and excellent grades. She was played by Mercedes Hall. Claire Standish was of romantic interest to John Bender and also attended Shermer High School. She is often arrogant, impolite and not infrequently shows excessive affectation, exalting herself above others. Her studies are not always a priority, preferring shopping to this boring activity. Claire is not an overly bad girl, but it's important for her to stick to other status she has created, often committing certain actions under the pressure of her snobbish society but gradually was able to rethink many things and change some priorities. Claire is quite pampered, not vulgar, and can help others and show understanding. The role is performed by Molly Ringwald. Brian's father is a relative of Kendall's. He is not so adamant about his own children but is still not sufficiently involved in their lives, as he often has to be away at work most of the time. Played by John Hughes, who died of a heart attack in 2009. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.